everything, and I do mean everything, is sales. Everything is sales. You got to sell it to yourself before you can sell your bullshit to somebody else. It's marketing, it's sales. It's a personality, it's an appearance, it's a line of shit. It's a swag. It's a bullying. It's a bravado show of phony confidence and competence. That's all it is. It's talking so fast with so much body language that nobody can get a word in edgewise. And you're talking into, through, under, over, and above people. That's what it is. It's a propaganda. It's a sweet personality. Your sweet personality boy smiling. And your sweet personality women, the temptresses, selling you a hope that you do. If you buy this talisman, if you will do this talisman behavior, that means formula behavior, symbolic behavior, you too will get what the model gets. And the model's all bullshit. The model's all bullshit. If I said to the model, take off your fancy Briani and we take you into the posing room and I'll take my pictures, I'll pose you, I'll show you what you got. I'll show you what you got as by way of a physique, my friend. They have to be cut down to size. Knock them off the pedestal. You got these clowns that we put a, a, a crown on their head, you see. Because we're projecting away all our power. We project our power power to act into our mythical gods that have been established by Hollywood, by Madison Avenue, etc. They take the crown off their heads. I don't want this. But then they, then we put it back again on their heads. And they begin to like it now. Now they like that crown. They like the uh, homage. They like to be considered experts because they have your your pretty boy smile, your pretty boy speech, with no content, just show, with the lights, with the special effects that you have to pay for, all the bullshit that has nothing to do with the entertainment value of what you got. I come to see the stand-up do comedy. I don't come to see the stand-up come as a god, as a guru. He's just a comedian. That's his job. And I get the hell off the stage. You're nothing special. Same thing with your rock god. You're nothing special, guy. You're nothing special. Take away the special effects. Take away the build-up. And what are you? The emperor has no clothes. I'm saying it right now. Knock off all the entourages, all the build-up. Just come out and do what you're going to do and respect my ticket and charge me a fair market price. Don't give me all the bullshit I don't need. I come to be entertained, that's all. I don't come for the extra, the extra bullshit. I don't come to see some prima donna on a stage prancing up and down. I don't come to see some bullshit tin horn actor with an actress in those bullshit love scenes that say to me, fuck you, man. I got mine, you say. I got mine. You can watch me, but you can't have what I got. Take back your power. Take back your power that you projected into phony gods, into phony gurus. I want you to get up. 
I want you to get up right now wherever you are and go to your to your windows. Open those windows and I want you to shout. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take any more. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take any more. If you need good information, go to your media, go to your political talking heads, go to your radio talking heads. They're going to tell you, they're going to throw you the red meat you need for the true believer. They're going to re- they're going to tell you what to believe, when to believe it, how to believe it. They're going to doctor the news to spin their, their agenda. Understand the politics rules, the politics of the situation. That's what's king. Go to the politics. Follow the money. That way where you're going to get your answers. Expose the talking head, the one that has the mic that's at the podium. Expose him. Challenge him. Trevor Noah got it right when he said, it should be a bleep button when some fool starts talking and he's obvious he's in the media so he's got the bully mic and he's got the attention to bleep him out when he says things that are clearly bullshit that are clearly a lie bleep him out bleep him out and it has to be some point where you say shut up and let somebody who knows what they're talking about give us the information we need Shut up, you phony entertainer, and let somebody who can do it right and respect my ticket at a fair market price. Let him do it. I didn't come to see a pretty boy dancing around, prima donnering on a stage. I didn't come to see that. I didn't pay to see some rock god prancing around. I didn't pay to see that. I didn't pay to see some female comedian acting in such a way that I feel bad about myself as a man because I'm not a stud, because I'm not a pretty boy. And she's mocking and belittling a man like me who's short, small, ridiculous in in appearance. I got a big, mushy face. But I didn't come there to be mocked and ridiculed. I didn't come there to see some stud muffin put up on a put up on a pedestal by these women comics. I didn't come there for that. I thought I was coming to be entertained. I didn't come there because I thought I was going to hear a critic up on that stage mocking the way I look. The walking, mocking my height, my phenotype, my temperament. I didn't come for that. That has to be challenged. That's the kind of bullshit that has to be challenged directly. It's not comedy. See, most stand-ups take the easy route. They go after ridiculous-looking people like me to mock. They go after inadequacies. They go after fears of loss of virility, competitive losses because you're not what's in vogue today. The height, the hair, the personality, the swag, and all that other bullshit that counts for nothing but yet it's put up on a pedestal as a standard that judges me. That's what I'm talking about. But who judges the judge? Who judges the bullshit standards that we use to evaluate ourselves and to tell ourselves predicated on the fact that we may not measure up to these bullshit standards we're inadequate? Who's there to challenge that? I am. I am your ranting, raving, bellowing stranger. Bullshit has to be challenged wherever it's found. It's got to be challenged directly and aggressively and loudly. 
and called out at the time it occurs and be able to say to that individual who has the bully mic, you are a liar and here is why by argument and evidence that challenges. Because they're the ones who inform John Q. Public. That's, these are the talking heads that we get our information from and draw our conclusions and make our judgments predicated on what these clowns say and they're not challenged. There should be a fact checker to immediately call the talking head a liar. Immediately. There should be a split screen and hold these talking assholes to accountability. I didn't come to be indoctrinated. I didn't come to hear the talking head's agenda. I thought I was coming to hear objective facts that I need to know to make an informed decision. That's what I thought I was. Instead, I'm taking on a hustle. And then you have your, your theologians who pretend to be philosophers and take me on a theological hustle when they're pretending to talk philosophy. They're pretending to tell me how to be good, how to live the good. Mister, are you good? Do you live the good life? Let's look at you now. Let's turn everything around. You're talking to me about being good. I'm going to reverse everything and talk to you and question you, Mr. Mr. Sermonizer. Mr. Pompous Ass. Are you good? Are you good? What are you worth? Prove it. Prove it. You have to go into the lion's den and beard him right in his den, but you have to be armed and prepared. You have to know his position better than he does, and you have to challenge him every step of the way. Don't let him get away with anything. That's philosophy. Don't let him get away with anything. That's all. You have to punch fight, grab your way through all the phony veneer of your pretty boy. He's smiling. Pretty boy, smile. Pretty boy, have a style. Pretty boy, have a swag. Pretty boy, know how to market. Look at look at all of your advertisement. You'll see these fools, these Adonises, these pretty boys, these pretty women selling me something I don't need, handing me a lot of bullshit and getting it over with because we all like to look at quote unquote the beautiful people who if I take the makeup off of them and take the special setting and lighting and all that bullshit off of them and strip them down and say now let me take some pictures and we find out who in the hell you really are without the makeup, without the show, without the sweet personality, without the performance. Let's find out who in the hell you are. That's what I'm talking about. What do you think?